What's going on everybody? Mav here. We had a fun show tonight on the Xbox Ultimate Podcast. And now You know what? I'm gonna play some Metro Exodus with the update. Um I've been excited to check this game out. Nobody's really on tonight. So we're gonna roll with this instead. And uh it's going to be fun. Let's do this thing. Um, it supposedly people are saying this is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to check it out. I honestly, like if I'm, I'll just be real here. The f first Metro 2033 I played when it came out and I just really couldn't get into it. I felt like too, like, like it felt too, a little cumbersome. It felt like I didn't really know where to go. I didn't like messing with the charcoal filters and all that kind of stuff. And so I just kind of wasn't really, this one wasn't on my radar, right? But it was on sale for really cheap, and it had this update that everybody's saying is mind-blowing. So I had to check it out, and um, we're going to see how this is. So roll with that. Hopefully everyone has had a terrific night tonight. Sharing this out, getting everything ready to go. People say that this one's really good. People that I trust their opinion on. So, here we go. Let's see how this is. What's up, Rain of the Third Eye? What's up? What's up, little Ray Ray? <laughs> Love games. I went to get some uh, food because I hadn't we hadn't eaten dinner <laughs> yet. Um, now I'm fueled and ready to go for a little while. Okay. I did. I have a save on my Xbox One console. I guess I did. All right. I guess they're saying I played this. I do not remember. I'll just go with normal. So, the interesting, like, this game and Stalker have some connections, right? So, these guys split off from the original Stalker dev team and formed this studio that's made the Metro Metro games. Used to live up there. And now the Stalker studio is making a Stalker 2, right? <laughs> then you also have these other games coming out called like, like Chernobyl Light and stuff like that that are all kind of really similar to this vibe. We cross the oceans at will. And we Stalker is the OG though, yo. Yeah. Get ready for some awesome graphics. I am ready, I'm, I'm pumped. I couldn't get into the first one, like I said, because the, like, I just didn't like replacing the damn charcoal filters and always feeling like I'm about to die. I don't know. Certain games people really get into that I just haven't been able to myself. Okay, I remember, I remember seeing this sequence. A game. So I must have played a little bit of this. Why did I have to buy it? Maybe I bought it on disc and traded it in. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I never played Stalker. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only fifty thousand. This is very familiar to me. With the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day the radiation on the surface might subside. And our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in I'm probably gonna have to up the uh, gamma basically there was no hope for us right for you guys on this game still we humans are just too bad at surrendering we tried to make the best of what we had banded together yep 100 percent after all 
It might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. But regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. We still have bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festers. Yeah, I, I remember playing, I remember this. When did this come out originally? Oh, really? I, I hate when movie uh, plots leak. Because, uh, like, once you get that, you get the whole story. You know what I mean? That's, that's something, like, it's unique with, like, movies and stuff. It's like, because you know the everything that happens that kind of ruins it for you. Like, a game, you could, you could potentially spoil it for me. But like you don't, you still get that experience of playing in this long experience and having your own unique experience within that, right? But a movie set, right? It's like you're, everybody's watching the same thing, even though you may have different takeaways from it. Oh, that sucks. Don't tell me anything. Here's one thing about this game. I know it's like uh, crazy, but after seeing what we saw at the Xbox conference with some of those games, it's like... I feel like it's hard to impress now. Sublimin. Like, I feel like my mind is now in a new realm of possibility for graphics. <laughs> like, it's like a, the bar has been raised. Y'all would just... What's up, Hertog? Still at work, man? Go in the hole. I just like how smooth it is. Yeah, that, that, that damn static sound of the radiation. I never, I, it always, that, so does it annoy you in games ever, guys? Like when you have that radiation sound? You know, for some reason it's always bothered me. I feel like unsafe. And I don't like knowing I'm in a place I'm not supposed to be. Um. Can, can I turn on my flashlight? There we go. What is that over there? I want that. Why are you Why are you doing that headset? Gets annoying after a while. Yeah. What's up, Noof? That's awesome, Hertog. You got your you got your headphones on, and did people just see you laughing and not know what's going on? <laughs> That's I could just imagine that. That's great. What's up, Soul Star? Forza Horizon Five looks so good. Do you imagine we'll ever see FSR in Horizon Five for frame rates above sixty? Maybe it wouldn't be worth a resolution or graphics tip though. FSR, what's FSR again? This is much better than first two metros. 
Yeah, it, uh, I, surprisingly, this, the game said I've played a little bit of this. I don't even remember it, though. Like, I remember that train ride. Yeah, everything's so smooth and crispy. Yeah, I remember when they said 4K 30 at first for Forza, Horizon 5. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm serious? You know, like, you're not just making 60 the standard. But then the when they said performance mode, I was like, okay, so we're going to get performance mode. It's like, it's probably going to be 1800p or something or 1440p. Mean, that's cool. You know, whatever. But they uh, they said 4K 60 is the performance mode. So even, no matter what kind of voodoo they got to pull off with, like, uh, tricking the system for 4K, I'm super happy about that. Uh, that just wants. Oh, shit. What the hell? You see that shit? Ah! Oh my gosh. Like rad spiders. Yeah, Forza Horizon 5 will have performance mode. 4K 60. Super happy. Same engine for Forza. It's Forza Tech, but they did a lot to work on it, supposedly. Like, a lot of new stuff. They kind of said they was built the ground up for, for Series X, which... You go into like that uh, stuff they did with like the pictures and stuff, you know, like to a uh, photogrammetry or whatever, whatever you call it. Uh, dude, I'm not a tech guy, but all that voodoo stuff they do to make it look real. <laughs> Come on, jump. Yeah, I was excited for Japan when that was the rumor. However, um, I, after seeing the game, I can't. I gotta say they made me the right. They made the right choice. I love tropical settings, and it seems like this uh, environment is very like. Um, did I go the wrong way? It seems like this environment is very. Um, it has a lot of diversity with it. There's a lot of different um looks and stuff you get there's a lot of different settings within that within mexico okay guys what am i doing wrong here it's uh for it's not it's not in-game ray tracing it was forza vista ray tracing but the reflections are incredible regardless like um actually a lot of people thought it was ray tracing because of the way it looked. In fact, I thought it was. Can I get up here, guys? Is that is that a... Do y'all know if I can climb up here or not? Because I'm not having any luck with that. Or is a Motorsport 8? Uh, I would think that would be more likely because it's a track racer. Track racers graphics are actually usually superior to the uh, open world variety or arcade racers, you know what I mean? So I think Forza Motorsport, the reboot's going to be absolutely insane. Where the fuck do I go? How can I not, how come I can't get in here? Is there like a clamber button that I'm missing? Hey, what's up, Snakewood? What's up, Brutal Enigma? You're playing Exodus right now? How do I get up here? Is there, is there like a climb button that I'm missing? I mean, 
Did I put up my put up my weapon? What's up the hell boy? I don't know what to do. I mean, this should be the way to go. It's like right at the beginning and there's this train here and I can't get up. Maybe I gotta run. All right, Brutal, I started at the beginning. And I'm going through the tunnels. And then I just, like, I rent. Okay. This is where I came from. What the hell? Okay. No, this is not. I'm sorry. I take it back. I was going the wrong way. I backtracked. That suck. Oh shit. Get off of me, rat beast. Thank you, friend. I love the way this gun feels. This is much better than the last Metroid that I was playing. Okay. Got bullets. I made you jump. Sit down. Sit down. Any more of you bitches? Yeah, this is gorgeous. You only played like three hours of this game last time, but now with the new upgrade, you're going to force myself to go through it. Just love the eye candy. Yeah. It's like a butter. You liking the new mustache? Do I have a mustache? This is this is just my shaven look. This is when I actually shave. Out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Can I not go? What the hell? Oh. Well, that's a waste of ammo. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know, Studelf. That's a good question. That might be one for the forums for the developer. Yeah. Sound is really good. I've been playing Yakuza the last couple days. It's pretty amazing. Yakuza like a dragon. Oh, so good. You're off to bed, right on her talk. Thanks for hanging out tonight, man. Makes you jump like a biatch. Nice. You ain't no bitch. Sega. <laughs> no problem, dude. Anytime. Maybe because Metro 2033 isn't as graphically demanding as Exodus. Yeah. That's probably a good point. It's brutal. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours, but don't you see what you're doing to my daughter, your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else, and the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? Okay, okay, dude. You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then um, I didn't really get into any of them. So, uh, they seem pretty oppressive. <laughs> like, depressing. I'll get the doctor. Gray. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. But, like, meaningful. That makes any sense. Heavy. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Oh, I didn't even check. Is there any modes I need to, like, select for that stuff? Ooh, nice. Oh, hey, baby. I guess it's just one mode. Yeah, me neither. The 
Shame they spent so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. That's a job or no job, it's what you do, yeah. Well, not everyone can find me and keep up around here. Some drummer? <coughs> it's what cut off a life at the mouth. It's accurate, right? Accurate description. <laughs> Party time. So I brought something, and here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. One week later. Pretty. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation guys. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went out with you. Why should he learn to drink to a Hansa off limit zone? <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? No, oh, ma'am. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If Super Powers were now, imagine... No, I didn't mean to change the filter again. Whoops. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Bolas. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go into Yeah, I'm not sure guys. I don't have a hundred and twenty hertz display. So. At least it held. Well, I say we're out of the woods. Whoa! This gun's pretty badass. I'm fine. They probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Does the 
keep up the pace. Now the whole area north of here. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I didn't do it myself, so. But I did. I mean, I don't know if ray tracing is on or off. I mean. Ah, shit. Shit balls. Holy fuck. Because of that, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the uh, main menu real quick. I'm gonna check because I died because I suck because I checked in the other options. I didn't see anything there. Just just this. If I turn the field of view up, accessibility that wouldn't be anything. Controls no game options. Nothing there. Pro tip, don't die. Okay. I will take that advice into this next section. Comrades from the order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. One thing about the Series S is Hades is going to be 4K60 on it. I know it's not a really graphically demanding game, but it's still, it's really cool. The biggest games, you know, you're going to struggle to hit 60 on that for like a good resolution, but I think 1080, 1440, especially with the Fidelity FX, all that stuff coming out that people are talking about, I think it's going to make it easier. Even if I die, don't die. Okay. Damn, too high. Hey, let's go. Help me get out there. Oh shit! Hey, that's death. I I. I uh, I thought I was supposed to go that way. <laughs> Hades is the shit. I'm excited to play it. Hey, what's up, Portal? Flight Sim's gonna be tits. <laughs> yeah, flight flight. I'm excited about some of the stuff they're bringing to uh, Flight Sim, like because it's on console. Like how um, some of the tutorial stuff they're talking about, how they're implementing that, and how they're doing like. Um, I like how they added the like the name locations around everywhere when you're flying. I like that the Top Gun thing is coming out. It, it I'm excited.
Oh, here we go. You're talking about an update on an old game, though, too, guys. You know what I mean? Like, with ra ray tracing and all that stuff. Like, with, uh, like, Forza Horizon 5 graphically is insane. And it's 1080-60 on Series S. Six, President Evil Six, what's up? Assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hamza, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? Nice. You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Hey, babe. You're letting me know, you're putting it out there that the digital codes have all been sent out to the winners. Nice. Woo! Congratulations to all the winners tonight. <laughs> Good. We gave away four twenty dollar codes tonight. Yeah, brutal. That's what I'm saying. That's so it's like I mean, new games that come out or you hitting 1080 or more, right? On the Series S, you usually for the most part. So it's not like it's like a. And the thing is too, it's like gonna get better as the those um, dev tools become uh, more available. I mean, they're talking about making games run at 4K with using 1080 assets and stuff like all over the place with some of this new tech, but all the FX and the LSS and all these things like uh, Unreal Engine 5 is going to be mind blowing in itself and the games that are built in that are going to be able to do way more than people are thinking with uh, with the uh, textures insane <laughs> yeah stalker 2 is gonna be legit uh oh Ooh, that's a f that's a foot that person's toes are spread far apart
Well, I've seen some stuff um, that 3-Bit showed me. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, some of the stuff he was talking about that he was able to accomplish. Just messing around with that. I mean, we're in the store for some treats with Unreal Engine 5. And then you combine like Fidelity FX and all that other stuff, like on top of that, like uh, next gen is gonna be insane. But, or it is, as we're getting all these next gen games are gonna be develop starting development now with all these tools in mind and, and in place. Uh, it's crazy. Three bit is a G. <laughs> Toe jam and Earl. Nice. They sell for five fifty new. You throw, you throw a card in back. No so Yeah. Let me in. Attention, the turntable is switching on. Yeah, I told you Renault was fun. Earthworm Jim. Well, all we know is that there's supposed to be like a year of a deal with Tur with uh, Black Seagate, and then after that, there's gonna be third party. Potentially, so uh, who knows exactly who else may have something in the works that they just can't uh, say yet. Hope, hope to get some news on that later this year, closer to uh, the launch of some of these holiday games. Maybe in November. Comparison videos are stupid, period. Snake would most and most of the comparison videos of Series X wins, like on all that stuff, so it's like really kind of pointless to even watch those things. Cause everything is optimized differently by the devs and back in this game actually, Series X won on most of the things with some of those. If it's running 60 frames, I'm happy. And certain certain mo versions of games could have different features equipped, you know, like in the feature set for graphics that can affect things. It's never a one-to-one -one comparison. A true one to one. Crouch. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Try sneaking through now. People just like to use games as like a um, measuring tool. The tools already like the stats are already what they are. You know what I mean? <laughs> I 
We know what's in the boxes. Yeah, it, it sucks that they're expensive, but it's it's how much in those they are. Unfortunately, it sucks. I, I wish there was more options or they were cheaper. I got I got one because I just need it. Oh, that was like an old man. It just still an old man. Yeah, um, Starfield will launch with bugs. I guarantee you that because that's just what Bethesda games do. Uh, uh, Skyrim did. Fallout did. But, wow, they just lit my ass up. But it will also be this amazingly expansive universe with so much content in it and so much story and so much to do. And it's going to hook people in just like Skyrim, just like Fallout. It's too, it's too like, much of... All right. Hey, guys, you want to play a game? Oh, sure, what do you want to play? Blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, yeah, let me transfer it. Now, the transfer speed is fine when you're talking about from SSD to... Um, but when you're talking about the like mechanical, I need I need what I need is a I need a really fast external SSD that's large. That's what I need. Then I'll be then then I'll be happy. But those are expensive, right? By throwing what? I don't have anything. Yeah, it's faster than downloading the whole game. Like that's what the thing the storage expansion card is like so like fast. Crazy. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Where's the garbage? The fuck? How am I supposed to throw the fucking garbage, man? Okay. I picked it up. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. The problem is, is that they, it's also expensive. That like, it's just gonna prevent a lot of people from getting it. You know. Oh, left bumper to throw. Whoops. Oh, shit. Whoops. This isn't going well, guys. <laughs> Make a ten terabyte and charge you two thousand. <laughs> wait, wait a moment. Wait. Great. Now throw it. Shit. Yeah, I suck. Okay. I well, what the hell, man? Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Great. Now throw it. Where am I supposed to throw this shit?
Okay. Open the door, motherfucker. Go through. Come on. Well, that was too hard. What difficulty is this? this is normal, bro. <laughs> First flight. Oh man. Yeah, the, th the thing is, 76, you can't really, it's hard to compare it to 76 because 76 is a big online game. This is single player only, right? So this is going to be more a comparison with like Fallout 4, Fallout 3, um, and Skyrim, and Morrowind, and Oblivion. That's the other games that. The, these guys have made. Oh my god. You're alive. Alive. Are you hurt? Hunter's badge? He stopped the bullet. Take this bitch. I hear it. You were right all along. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking We'll be here soon. Damn. Don't shoot. But I'm with him. I'm with you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards. Stalker 2 is going to be sick. Take the door, the There's so many of those games. I'm oh, so excited for her. I, I like that, you know, we didn't, you know, we got early announcements for Redfall and Contraband. Now it's like I get those to add to the list of, like, things to be excited for, right? That looks like a sick dog. I don't know where I'm going. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Change your position, Archon. 
I made it. I did it. All right, take it easy, CMBR. Take it. Good night, little Ray Ray. Oh wow, that's crazy, man. Nice stalker. What do you think of the Elden Ring trailer? Um, I'm not a big Souls. Oh shit. I'm not a big Souls game guy. Um, it looked cool. I uh, think it's probably going to be great for people that love those games. I'm hoping it's like um, something that I'll really like to play. I'm going to definitely give it a shot. Graphically, it didn't like blow me away, but like it looked like it's going to have some amazing gameplay, right? But, I mean, not every game's going to have, like, ultra-realistic graphics, you know what I mean? It's like, so there's definitely an art style with that. I think, uh, I'm really intrigued with what the story could be. Did I have done that? I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, I love the silence pistol. Badass. No, no. Yeah, Redfall, I'm really excited about that. I didn't know it was open world like co-op thing when they showed the trailer i think i thought it was gonna be like some kind of multiplayer like thing kind of like left for deadish you know when i found it's like an open world like co-op oh, i was like so excited got a chance to be special We probably won't see that game again for a while. The guns won't let us get away. We have to do well, get up off your ass, bro. What the hell are you doing?
go. Oh shit! I didn't see that coming. Did they say April for Redfall? I don't remember that. Maybe they did. Summer 2022. Group D, read the points in the generator room. Aha, uh -huh. Oh shit, how did I miss that? Am I going? Let's sprint through your Mac, Archeo. Your Mac. Where the fuck is your Mac? Archeo, get to your Mac. Yeah, I don't know where your Mac is, bro. I like need like obvious waypoint markers in games. I swear. I'm horrible. Is your Mac is your Mac the fucker that's like downed over there? Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? Oh, that's why he couldn't get up. He was strapped to the gate. Go to the engine. It should be ready now. 
You go up there Come and switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have to hold this. Turntable on. Come on, Artyom, we don't have a way. Those won't blow up. What do we do now? Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh no! In my opinion on the Amico, I think it could be a lot of fun. It, uh, I'm glad there's something out there like it. I think it could fill the hole that the Wii left a little bit. Like something to have that's really for people that have never played a video game, intimidated by holding a controller. Um, be able to play some. I like a lot of things like the games are all cheap. They're all focused on um, playing with people, right? Um, I can imagine two things: having it in a, in, a, in a house with like really little kids and being able to have fun as a family, um, everybody. And then the other thing is parties and get-togethers with people that aren't gamers, being able to have a lot of fun um, with that because it's so simple. Um, and also like drunken craziness <laughs> So I definitely I think it I think there's a hole for something like that and uh, I'm keeping my eye on it I was born with an Intellivision in the house Like we played the Intellivision all the time. It was my first console um, Back then the controller was weird it had it had numbers like one two three four five six seven eight nine It had this plastic sleeve that you slid in and the sleeve was different for every game and it had pictures for what the buttons did and then it had a dial knob or not really a dial knob is like you pushed on it but it's like big and round um and it had a spiral cord that hooked into the console or that actually was always attached to the console and they they, they went on top just like the Am amico or amico however you want to say it um, I'm definitely going to have one in our living room for parties, get togethers. I don't think it's a bad price. Stuff like that's expensive to make. It's it's Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Honor. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? What are you doing here? Talk about Sir I think it's gonna be I mean it's not like a not about graphics or something like that. It's about the uh technology of the controllers and 
um, accessibility, all of those things. The Pachu! Fantastic! It, they're making games for it, Jasper. It'll um and the games are all like five dollars if it or something like that. I can't remember like they have like these certain criteria that you have to meet in order to have a game. Um, but they're they're remaking a lot of classics from when I was a kid, like Astro Smash and uh, a lot of games like that. Um. NLG does a lot of coverage over it. Because Mike knows Tommy Tallarico pretty well. Three to ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to release a lot of games for it. And it has a lot of appealing qualities like that. I don't think I mean the games are gonna be simple fun games right stuff you would play was back like the, the and television was but like brought up to date like simple games Mainly, I would think of it as a party game machine. You know what I mean? A party game slash arcade game. It's got those, like, single player, like, you can play, like, Astro Smash by yourself and just try and beat scores, right? So it's got that element, but it's also got the, like, multiplayer with your um, family or friends on the same couch. Exactly. It's a fun way to change it up. If you have people over at your house, you know, like, okay, so, like, my sister doesn't play video games, right? She doesn't play video games. She's never been a gamer. You, you put a controller in her hand, it is like she doesn't know what the hell is going on. But I could put that controller in her hand, and she could figure it out and play what we're playing. It's simple. It's ultra simple. So it, it takes away the barrier for people to have fun with each other. That, for some people, video video games is a hurdle to access, right? Just because it seems intimidating. People would be surprised that t video games are intimidating for a lot of people. Because they don't understand this. You know? Like, this is like, all these buttons on it. You know? They don't know what, it, what, to, what to do. They don't know how to move a character. You know? But you just put like a circle in a screen. People can s easily figure that out. That was the magic of the Wii. People could understand this and one button, right? So people could bowl, or they could do Wii Golf, or they could do things like that. It was ultra simple. That was the magic of the Wii. That's why it's, the Wii caught on so well. Um, people were more comfortable bringing it into their homes. Like, I think there's just there's a, there's a place for something like this. I think here's what I, the one thing though I think the success of the 
Amico as as far as it, how successful it can be will be if it, they can get it into people's hands and let them try it and demo it. That's what they did with the Wii. It, it took off because of that. If they can get the um, Amico into stores and let people try it, I think it could potentially sell um, decently well. Wait, where's the, the backpack? Wait, am I supposed to just wait? I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, wait. Well, not as well. The one thing about that that you're not taking into account is mobile. Mobile is still gaming, but like it's not the same thing that we're thinking of when we say video games. But like, um, and also, business-wise, video games are up there with movies and TV. And you got to think, we're all growing up, getting older. Our kids are all growing up playing video games, right? Like, the barrier is dropping. Eventually, it's... It's become so much more acceptable, even as I, in our lifetime. When I was a, in my, like, teens and 20s, like, it was like... People were like, oh, it's uncool to play video games, really. Unless you play, like, sports games. Oh, you, oh, you play video games? Some it's still kind of like that, you know? Like, but that's going away. It's becoming more, ma more and more mainstream. But like uh, things like the Amico, Amico, I don't know, let me see. I uh, can help bridge that gap. Ooh, this one's got a scope. Oh yeah. yeah. Kids are crazy. My my daughter can school me at Fortnite. How her quick her reflexes is with a shotgun is insane. She uh, is about to turn ten. That seems dangerous.
We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... Up, 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 up. Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you the mean, war? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs, so that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hand of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caused all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Artyom, rather than the graphics in this are pretty insane. Approval of yours. Check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now. So give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shut off the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial? Is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything has changed. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all. Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for <laughs> bring it out and bring here. what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, 
that, for just a moment, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Ural. So we Ah, shit, we live, Chris Jones. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Spill the bomb. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How about on. Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's switch to the Aurora. Who the Aurora? Yeah, everyone went to bed, bro. <laughs> I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Arnosha? Chugga chugga chug 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 chug. Let's go. <laughs> After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. Yeah, I'm guessing they'll kind of bring some of that back later on, Jasper. Remember they added those later. Purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker and the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy <laughs> control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that... Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness. I mean, would you trust the train track? I'm just saying. The life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new light from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Yeah, Chris, it went smooth tonight, bro. I haven't had any issues with this one either. As I said, would you trust the train tracks? Oh, look at this. Photo mode. Are you all right, Atio? I'm just grand. <laughs> right on, Chris. Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts? Huh? It's just the perimeter guard. 
They couldn't put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Taking a prisoner, huh? situation. You are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I think it's gonna take on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stefan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on oh, that's crazy, dude. Don't forget your backpack. It's a new module, a portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just yeah, it seemed like what I think could have been tornadoes in the distance, but you never like never one like just down on the ground. <laughs> I've seen a lot of the damage though. My Just business. Seen houses ripped in half. Seen houses just all there's left is a foundation. It's absolutely crazy. Those who speak our language might be enemies by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they serve the enemy and slaves or something. Excuse me. Coming through. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you search the boat. And yeah, we have plenty of them around here. I'll call you when I'm 
to actually seeing one with your eyes is... Get off of here, crow. Oh, that's amazing. You can see like the little residue on top of the fucking water. Yay. Am I supposed to be here? Where did she say to go? Oh yeah, t uh, Texas, North Texas, we get a lot. Um, Oklahoma, down into North Texas. We're in Tornado Alley. Oops. We better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? You'll see the woman at the church. Yikes, this place is creepy. The heck's going on? Um, yeah, I heard from him. He's okay. Been 
thinking about escape for a long time. We even got a boat. But we didn't have anywhere to go until you showed up. Oh, and yes, I'm so pissed from the storm. Yeah, he, yep. So <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's yeah, it takes time. Oh shit, no! Come on. No, that was, that was, that was a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, shit. I, he uh, had he went to get, get his leg checked out. Uh, it had been really swollen and bugging him. Uh, he he's okay. Boat at the dock, okay. Boat at the dock, huh? Dude, stop moving your head so much.
Wow, the fucking bricks fell. Oh man, come on. Is this the boat? Save me! Are you alright? A shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. Oh shit, is that a shrimp? What the fuck is that? Go. Oh, no. Oh, sh shit balls. Shit. Eat the boat, it won't eat me. Holy fuck. Okay, swim, motherfucker, swim. Hey, he's got a cool mask. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge. The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. He told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdued occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the call. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Oh, shut up, dude. Do you have a med kit? <laughs> What loot? The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. They are shrimps. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into jumping off those water bottles. I'll give Mark a call with the rest of them.
Okay, loot on the plane. Oh, nice. Ew. Okay. Yeah, just keep moving, shrimp. Nice, dude. Getting geared out, bro. You're alive. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Agil, a moment. Yes, sir. Oh, what happened to the sound? You shrink a lot of clothes, right on. Great job saving. Oh, hold on. The Martin. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. Yeah, this game's pretty awesome. So many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Well, let's figure out how to cross that bridge tomorrow, bro. I am saving this baby. And going home. All right, guys. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys hanging out along tonight thank you so much for watching the show tonight as well xbox ultimate podcast uh was a blast 
with some awesome guests, uh, Lil Ray Ray and also HR Bomber. Um, had a lot of fun. So thank you all you guys for hanging out tonight watching some Metro Exodus. Uh, you rock. And I will be seeing you all again. And just like last time, let's let's do some. Bye.